I've got not one, but two car boot sales to go to today on my mission to turn £10 into £100,000. We've got £130 in our budget. Let's get in there and see what we can find. For that one. Tenor, is it? Yeah. Everything is there. Oh, I'll grab yeah. that. Thank you. Thanks, love. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. What's that one? Uh, grab that. Thank you. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Have a good day. Cheers. Perfect. Thank you. For you? Or for mum? <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. What's the FIFA? Yeah. The CEX is about 18, 20 quid. Do it. Tenner. Tenner? Yeah. Thank you. You got 10 change for a chance? Yeah. Thank you. I'll give you a pound coin because you're going to spend it. Don't matter. Either way, mate. Cheers. Have a good day. Morning. Oh, it's the headphones? I presume the headphones, probably. Yeah, they are. They're not Bluetooth, they're uh, cable uh, ones. Plug yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Phones are. <laughs> you can't be bad. I only mind they were 300 million. Yeah. <laughs> this phone's getting rid of. Well, everything's getting rid of all sport now, isn't it? It's just all. Yeah. I think it's for the enthusiasts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the quality's good. Nah, that's both, isn't it? Yeah. Did you say five on? Yeah. You got a price if I pick them both up? What, sorry? You got a price if I pick them both up? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's good math. <laughs> yeah, I'll give them one. Thank you. Who's it going to? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Have a good day. Thank you. Oh, wow. Hello. The Skylander stuff? Yeah. Just the Skylander stuff? I don't know. What a pop is it? It's Run through. So I don't want to stand on any of your stuff down there. Yeah, I got three there. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And how much are the magic cards? I don't know what they are. What do you reckon you'll leave? Five for the slot or Alan? Yeah. Seems like a good deal to me. <coughs> Thank you very much. <coughs> Cheers, have a good day. Morning. How much are the back again cases? Um, oh, I don't know where the sums. I'd say um, three quid a box. Cool. So, yeah. yeah. I'll grab them. And how much was the Yu Gi Oh ones? Oh, yeah, well, yeah we couldn't even work out what that was. Uh, <laughs> yeah, cool. Sorry, I got it, got it right for you. Whoa. Oh, brilliant. There you go. Thanks Thank you so much. much. How much are the controllers? Um, just five each. Five I each. think he says they drift. 
Oh, do they, yeah. Yeah. yeah that one definitely does. What's that? <laughs> that one definitely does. Oh, right, yeah, actually, I might take that one off. Yeah, that one's probably going to be Do a fiver on the pair if you're just going to chuck that one. Uh, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Sure. So have you got five chains somewhere? Uh, yeah, I have. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Do that one first. I think he's giving you a five, isn't he? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we we'll do that one. Uh, <laughs> Circle of life. Cheers. Thank you. Back. Thank you. How much was the Now TV box? What's that? The Now TV, how much fiver? is that one? Fiver. Is that the, is it, that's the router, is it, that one? Uh, I think, yeah, I think one's, one's, um, one's the internet. It's never been open. Right, yeah, yeah. Um, do you mind if I check the, that one out? Yeah, yeah, Has this been opened or? Uh, I'm not sure. I think sometimes they set these things up and they yeah, yeah. send it and I still the old ones, so. There's your father back. <laughs> Thank you. How much are these? Is that the pair or each? Uh, do both for six. Cool. Cool then. Okay then. Thank you. Six, just want to double check that and make sure. Thank you. How much are your Skylanders? Uh, how many do you want? Um, that's a good question. Let me have a, a look through. Have you got a rough idea, just so I know? Uh, one pound for two. Yeah, it's just those two, I think. Thank you. Pretty sure you do. There we go. Oh, I'll take those. <laughs> Let's take a turn around. 12. 12. Yeah. I'm going to give you some of that change back now. No, no, I'm going to give you some back. <laughs> There's that. And then let me get the two out of my pocket. Awesome. Thanks again. Today was the first time in this challenge we spent three figures in one day. We spent £100 on the nose. It cost us £1 to get into the first car boot, but it cost us £10 to get into the second car boot. That's because we went in with all of the sellers, which gave us first dibs of all of the products you're about to see. Now the first pickup was this JVC vintage camcorder. We paid £10 for this, but as soon as I saw it, I knew that we were going to be making some money on it. Hey, hey, keep rolling, keep rolling there. No, 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 this sucker's electric. That specific camera is very, very similar to the one that's used in the Back to the Future movies where Marty is filming Doc traveling up to 88 miles per hour. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious So because of that reason, the value of this broken is still really good. So be on the lookout for this specific camera. We also picked up these two PlayStation 4 items, one game and the processing unit for the VR. We paid £6 for the pair of these. We also got some PS3 games, the first one being Minecraft, which cost us a pound. Second one, Lego Movie, also a pound. And this FIFA game we paid up, we paid £10 for it. But I'm sure you can see why, because we've listed it for this. <laughs> Uh, we also paid three pounds for this Jurassic World mask, and I think I look awesome. <laughs> and moving on to the second car boot sale, which cost us 10 pounds to get into. I paid 10 pounds for two pairs of these Bose QC3 wired headphones. Now, believe it or not, wired headphones still hold value. And because of that brand name of Bose, they're gonna do well. I got two Xbox One controllers. He did mention they have stick drift, and when I pointed out that this one is definitely broken, he went to put it in his car. So I got them both for a fiver. I paid six pound for these two Iron Maiden special edition CD books. Now, worst case scenario, they look really cool. 
but should make us a little bit of money. I paid £5 for this Now TV box, which looks pretty unused in the inside. I paid £8 for a load of these Bakugan and some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I paid £5 for a load of Magic the Gathering cards. Honestly, I don't know that much about these, so it is a little bit of a risk. I paid £12 for this graphics card, which looks minty and fresh, although it has been used. And from a few different stalls, I paid £7, a pound each, for these seven Skylanders. I'm super happy with what £100 got for me today. Let's head over to the computer and work out exactly how much all of this is worth. We'll also recap any sales that have happened since last video and go through exactly how much money I've got for next video. So a few things sold since last video which gave us the budget to spend today. The original PS1 remotes that we got in episode one, both sold together Full asking price, $9.99 plus postage. We sold both the power supply units, one for $8.99 and one for $9.99, both with postage. And we also sold the Kenwood radio, $29.99, including postage. This meant that going into this episode, we had £132.06 to spend. So I've gone through and added every single item that we picked up today onto our handy spreadsheet. Our previous stock value was £65.60 and after investing £100 at the two car boot sales today we are now at a stock value of £590.39 so our store value has gone up by over £530. That's not bad for a £100 investment. Now granted these are just the listed values and we need to wait for those items to sell so that we've actually got more money for next episode. As it stands, we've only got £38.06. So fingers crossed, a load of these products that I've just added will sell before we go to our next car boot sale. As you can see on the assets page, everything is listed apart from the Yu-Gi-Oh and Magic the Gathering cards. There is a handy app called TCG Player, which involves manually scanning all of them. However, I have a friend down in Cornwall who runs a card shop who I'm actually probably gonna send these to and see if he can just pay us what he think is fair so that he could make a little bit of money on it and I get a nice quick flip. But I'll keep you posted on what we end up doing with those sets of cards. So overall, a fantastic day out at the car boot sale. 100 pound into over 500 pound. Fingers crossed a load of it shifts. If you stuck around for this long in the video, it clearly means you liked it. So do me a favor, click that like button. And if you want to make sure you catch every episode of this challenge, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. That's all from me. I'll catch you in the next one.